terrific. Well, the issue of two rural water districts leaving the San Diego County Water Authority is far from over. So the latest involves the state legislature and what the two districts say is an end run. KOSI's Ed Lenderman explains. This would now appear to be the might of the city of San Diego versus two small water districts. And that's an assessment that comes not just from the two affected districts, but other water districts who are members of the San Diego County Water Authority. After the LAFCO approval, they want to change the rules and change the law by jamming a bill through the legislature using the political might of the city of San Diego to shove it through the legislature against two small districts. More on the other districts in a moment. Tom Kennedy and Jack Beebe, respectively the general managers of the Rainbow and Fallbrook water districts, say this end run, as they call it, should be a concern to everyone, not just people involved with water. As we've covered extensively, a commission called LAFCO has given the two rural North County districts permission to leave the Water Authority. The two districts made their case that they can deliver water to their customers far more cheaply if they were members of a Riverside agency. The principal focus on growers whom they say can't afford to properly water their crops because water rates are so high. We followed the rules, they say, and now, Backed by the city of San Diego, there's a blatant attempt to change them. Using the full weight of the legislature against us isn't what we anticipated. And it's a challenge as small districts to have to fight something in Sacramento. So that really wasn't something we thought they would do. It's Assembly Bill 399, sponsored by Encinitas Assembly member Tasha Borner. The bill's big backer is the city of San Diego. 399 would require voters in the entire county to sign off on LAFCO's decision rather than what LAFCO is requiring, a scheduled November vote by customers just of the two districts. The legislature's summer recess is over. 399 is currently in the Senate. Interestingly, other local water districts are protesting the Sacramento move, too, even though the Water Authority says rates across the board will have to go up because of the departure. They feel the bill sets a terrible precedent. I think the count right now is up to almost half of them uh, numerically have come out, and a bunch of other districts like fire districts, LAFCOs all around the state are all also opposed to the same reason. And the legislature just back in session after its summer recess, AB 399 is being fast-tracked. We're told it could go before the Senate Appropriations Committee as early as next Monday. In Fallbrook, Ed Lenderman, KUSI News.